Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hi everybody, it's Wood Spooning, and welcome back to another NHL Rival Week. This next matchup, as I'm about to be seeing, for our next part of the game. We've got the Florida Showdown in between for the two in the East Coast of the Southeast as right now the Bullets of Tampa Bay are facing against the Sunrise Florida to face against the Panthers. Now these are the one to rival in between for the Lightning and the Panthers. This is what happens here because of most of all the quarter century, these two Sunshine State teams has located about 200 miles apart as a charter jet flies. Coexisted peacefully as the fireworks began in earnest late in 2021 season. Due to compressed COVID schedule, Florida and Tampa played eight times, including the finale two regular season games. As hockey fade with our hit, the two were already slated to meet up in the first round of the playoffs. It turned out to be a nasty six game opening round with a playoff win for the Bullets and the team has been playing each of their eight consecutive times. And if that wasn't enough, pleasant trades were resumed where they met for three more times in the following preseason. The rivalry were intensified the last season with the arrival in Florida of the strip of sound paper named Matthew Kachuk, who had been a part of the heated Calgary and Edmonton rivalry. So this time, he has a quote to say he doesn't like Edmonton Oilers. And this way, he's introduced the introductionary pressure in Sunrise. But now, he just doesn't like it, and he hates the team of the belts that they play. Well, here's how the two teams meet up. The start last season's both superstar Steven Stamkos mentioned that things had changed between the two teams. I'm telling you now, there is no doubt that there was some hated for the last couple of years, which is great for hockey, great for our state, and great to play in. And to compare the games against really good teams, that they have some elite players and elite gold design. They're fun to play in. But now, it's about that time where we say for the next part of the game, as we are looking forward in between. The starting goaltenders for the Florida Panthers will be Sergey Bobrovsky, and for the Tampa Bay Boats, Jonas Johansson will be able to play here with the game on the other side. And Andre Vasilevsky will see what happens, how well his game will go if he comes in to play with the rival teams. And here they are, Nikita Kucherov, Victor Hudman, and Andre Vasilevsky. On the other side is Matthew Kachuk, which has he been traded off, now he's ready to say what could go wrong with Alexander Parkov and Sam Reinhardt. That is it for now. Let's head on down to Sunrise, Florida at the Amaranth Bank Arena. We're standing by, I have, across from here, a silver spoon, right here from the other hand of the angle, with Ultra Paste, and your main commentary right above it, it's all turned out ready for everybody's favorite, Sonic Base. Let's get the game started. Florida showdown, here we go. I'll see you all later for the post game. It's the Sunrise Florida, the showdown in between the Bolts and Panthers. It's skin time. Center Beast here along with Silver Spoon and the Center Ice will be Ultra Beast. Ready to go! Here is our courtesy lineups as we start with Hagel. For the Bolts on the start run, here's Kerchikov. Shot run stops again here by Bob Siski. Porcelain with the puck now finds it over again. Now here's that plan, he'll have that puck in cover to bound. Tries to take over to Reinhardt. Shot went to nine. Barkov shot, rebound and stopped by Johansson. He gives off the perfects, and now Kucherov is on his way down. To move in front, Goaltender stops it away as Kucherov takes a stop. Now this little inbound is a lot of that hard response, but don't believe in me. You know, the star run doesn't have it all come turned down. Because the Panthers are definitely the Bolts, they started playing here in a playoff spot. They were really a tough one to maintain. 
Now, they were really not getting along with that one because they were already just feeling like they want to win some stuff. That's a hard one, but they are trying to make a stop out of them. But no matter how hard you luck this, you have to just try to keep on your way down to do it again. Both players are set, ready for the face-off. Not a win, we'll be on Florida. Mikula right behind Mountain Tour, and now Kachuk with the puck. Kachuk lost that puck, and it goes right toward the boards. Furbix with the puck, now racing in. Give the pass. Loses it, but still recovers it. Nick Paul, stop the puck. Behind the net, scrimmage finding Montour. Florida's in transition. Moving across the line and Robert Goose. Closes it out. Robert Goose finds Mikulai. And Montour shot. We'll have to give it back to Kachuk. Tychuk right now by Rikus and over to Montour. Shot! Sure, stop again here by Ryan John Hansen. Hedman takes it over to Barry Bullock. Looks to Stamkos. Stamkos with a release bit. Bobrovsky saved. Yeah, that that turned out really well. And you know, if that kite jump has really gotten it to make the comments out of it, you know, this is a lot that hard hit he was trying to focus on. I mean, intentional. He's not going to well with the with the team that he really doesn't like the most. He doesn't like Edmonton. And now the next thing is, he doesn't like the Bed Table Bay Bolts. You know, the thing fact right now, because that comment gives out a lot that hard for him, this is the toughest matches that he has ever been facing. And this was not the day for him that he wants to get over this. He's got to find something else around here if he wants to get it going. He's got to go over it, and he's got to go under. Jeanette finding Sorelli. Over towards the right. Looks inside at the circuit chat. On a shot! Blocked by Kolokov. Pampers regaining the group in the offense. Sergeyev recovers that puck as Sonax takes the puck steal. Across the line to center his point. And Kolokov takes that puck away and now finding Lederstein. Lederstein in with the puck in the left. From the corner for Kozlin shot. Joe hands it stop. 13.45 left to remain in the first period. It's right now no scores been gained in from its lineup. Now the faceoff is ready to go. Florida and Tampa Bay. The win puts up for Barkov. Right out of the middle. Oh, jump. Arnson stops it right away. Got a good call on that run. Make that uncountable run. They're just making that with your pull up on a trap set. This was very uh, tough. Not to be confused by what happens now. Point wins the face off. A circuit check passes out. Holtz fires the puck around the net. Horselink's got the puck in uh, across the boards. Now find Barkov. Reinhardt with the puck and right now into the left. Loses it. And Cernax recovers it. Finds Sergeyev. On the inbound is Kucherov. Inbound! Stop by the goaltender. Kucherov! Dull timer! Stops again by Barovsky. Puck clears out into the Tampa Bay zone. Cernax finds Paul. Here on the other side is Nick Paul. Give off to Stamkos. Auto shot. Blocked away. Barkov recovers it on right around the net. The new changeoff will be Stamkos and Cernax with the puck. Now Heaven is in the center. Trying to pass the line. Battle for the loose puck. Recovered by Force Lane. Towards the right lane. Sam Coase is across the, across the boards and now find Headman. Right towards the wing. Looking for a shot. Stopped away by the goaltender. Did not get there in time that point as he went down. You know, this is not what everyone else is saying because when you go with a backhand shot, you got a lot of hard way to try to like stop and bounce. But this was not enough of a case to make that one feel like Hard was to maintain. But this is a pressure release trying to make that stop for a first league run. They're trying to make this one a lot that harder. They want to get away with that and they can't get over it. 
Furbix with the puck. Two on one. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's Rodriguez. On the pass. Shot rebound and scores. There's your goal for the Panthers. It's Sam Bennett. We'll have the first goal. That's 118. Now that's a pass here, but unfortunately you're going to get that one right away. When you get that pass puck, you make that clear right and bounding. Trying to beat the goaltender right away, and then when you go right by it, you have that one right away. That's what the goal is. Turned out a great start for the Panthers. Sam Bennett with his first goal, as right now it comes to a one nothing lead, passing the midway mark of the period. Rodney Guzman and Beckman had that assist one down, and they're looking to get more. Glennon right over finding headman. Lundell with the puck. Get back to Mikola. And Cousins. Dropped it up as Mode will have that back. Lusternan crosses the line. With the shot! Stop by Johansson! Recovered it again and now finds it over. Oh, he went down with a big hit tomorrow. Headman give that one over again to Glennon. Finding Mote with the shot. It has been locked out and as Mote recovers it. Furvick shot got blocked. Lundell finds Montour. Florida back in transition now in the TV zone. Kucherov takes it over now finds Furvick. Under eight minutes to go in the first period. Looks to pass the point. Blocked and found. Stop by goaltender. That's another Bobrovsky save movement and a 10 hit collision course for the Panthers. They ain't gonna mess this one up because the fighting in battle is a lot it's hard in scrimmage. We're gonna make this one a lot that challenging because those bolts are a pretty tough team. Rebounding scores! Unbelievable! As he silenced the crowd here at Amaranth Arena, they tied the game up by one. If this rebound turned the right way, you know that this was very that tough. You can't just make that with McTay and say, hey, Kujra, you gotta take the rebound right away. That is a very that tricky move. This is a tough angle that nobody has ever seen like that. And I know that this was really that hard to try to stop him. But don't get away with this. Kujra does it all. Now with the win for the Pampers, as Kulikov will have one. Towards the right. Lands that shot! Johansson gloves it up with the save with under seven minutes to go in the first period. Looking to get another one right away. Now they're back in transition, ready for the faceoff. Panthers and the Bolts are tied up by one. Try to look for another faceoff. The clear puts up for Florida. Johansson stopped away. Just getting down to the wire. Now ready to do another one. Now it goes back again. He's all alone. He's ice about. He's a mound again. Shot. Stopped by Bobrovsky. Cold up. Give over again to Ekman Larson. Pass again to Lorenz. Looks in bounds. Rebound, takes it down as, as Johansson give it back over again, now Vine Cernax. Six minutes gone by in the first period as Eisenbaum shot. That puts up another stop by Bobrovsky. Eisenbaum went down. Lumber with the puck. Pass across to Barkov. No offside is whistled. Oh, he went down long. Took the big bite and then took that one with the bolt flash down. You never see what goes right now because Barkov lost that one. That was pretty tight. But not to worry about this. You know when the save comes to Bobrovsky? That's a close call. Shot gets denied by Vranish. Vranish with the puck now finding again the barrel bullet. He slides it out. Verhigi finding again to Evan Larson. He gets bumbled out. Now DeHaan takes over. Tampa Bay back into the offense zone. Radish by Barrett Boy. That's blocked away. Recovers it. Ball shot. Hit and denied by the goaltender. Recovers. Sanko shot. Stopped away. Full pressures on the bolts. But it's Tychuk with the puck. 
Rodriguez with the puck. Over again to Ekblad. Pass back to Tychuk. Goes down. Tychuk trying to go with the tricky setup. But Edmund takes it over. Three minutes gone by in the first period. And point goes down. Rodriguez now finding Ekman Larson, now finding Gaicha. Move around again. Oh, he just made a hit for the corner of the board. This is a lot of passion. I don't know what to tell you now because those bolts are going to like smash them down. Montour right over to the right side now into the left. Headman, get back to Hagel. Lost that one, that's point recovers it. What's it going? Point trying to stop one. Rebound! Stop by Bobrowski! A minute and 47 remaining in the first period, still tied up. Still a lot of time, but the time is winding down. It's even up. Off to another win. After a bang down, and it's Lundell with the rebound. Goes to Cousins. Cousins inbound! Torrenson gloves it up with only a minute and 22 to go. But the time is winding down, just nearing one minute mark. You don't get a mistake out there, you just make that one the mass smash down in front of it. That's going to be a hit up, the major look. Wing comes in for the Panthers. Long to a shot. Rebound 3D9. Circuit chat right over into the right wing. We're down to a one minute mark in the period. And he makes another save. Pass to Lundell. Lundell the Cousins. Finds it over with an open slot. Tampa Bay back in the offense getting to work. Cousins get back to Lundell. Pass to Cousins. Tries to look it over. He stops. Jeanette with the puck. Loses that one out of bounds. Montour passes again. That's stopped again by Jeanette. Zerali with the puck. Looks over with a slap shot. And a stop made by Bobrovsky. That goes to the end of the first period. All teams are tied up. We'll be right back with the second period. And we're back. Second period about to begin in Sunrise, Florida. And here we are. We're off in the making, ready to do it again. With the me and Silver Spoon, let's have your take here with a recap of the first period. This was a very tough one out there, trying to keep that one out of the way. I really like when, when the Tampa Bay Bolts and the Panthers are in a close battle amount. They're just trying to make that one look clear. It's very tough and you can't just try to make them away with that. But all I'm saying is right now, they're trying to like get out of here. Just make them one quick. They're doing it all much damn better than used to. Especially when it comes into a lot of a previous attack. They're trying to make that one here feel like they're on pressure. The full seam is just very tough when to make a lot. Bobrovsky cover comes with the save. As that one right now, will you think Bobrovsky will have a ton of save to take? Or will he be left alone? I'm thinking he's going to get that a lot that saves. I'm going to tell you now, he's going to get it through. Now with the win, here's Ekblad. Looks to get another one to Reinhardt. Reinhardt with his goal, now looking for two. Gets the nine, and it's now go back to Furbix. Heidman will have that one stop. Give it over to Kucherov. Off his way, Barkov with the puck. The other pair fucking bound. Looking over. Shot stopped by Johansson. Good look at the target, but not enough to clear it down. So it stops it by 1809. Just right down in the fourth to get another faceoff coming in. Who has the stance? Let's find out when Ultra Beast has gone. Take it away. Hey guys, thanks so much. I was looking it over right in between for the two. What we call it for Victor Redman, he has that one on the stick him up defensive Ben. He's been really on the start hustling him out. They're just trying to make him smack out of it. And as for those guys, as we were saying about Gaichuk has gotten a pretty good, decent amount of his scores. He calls it Tricky's own ability to make that hat trick shot 
He wants to have that one in his tricky zone ability to try to like keep that one out. This is a mindful I'll make that one set up. I'm just trying to keep an eye on it to watch on them. They're pretty much intense right now in the in the season. But they are looking it over again. They wanted to get that one stopped. They wanted to go over this again. Now they need to just try to find an open space. Create some room. Do something again. But I'll be watching on those two right in between uh, Victor Hedman and of course Thigh Chuck. Back to you. Thank you so much, your Ultra Beast. I never saw it with the Battle of the Class goes out in the wall. Gotta keep it out of here. Tampa Bay back in the offense and now find Hedman with 16 minutes to go. Hurry, Bullet, lost that one. Hall has it back. Shot, stop again by the goaltender. Keeps it out. Lundell, ice it out, takes it away. The Lightning regain in possession. Stops away. Luster there with the puck and now back to Lundell. Lundell lost that one. Jeanette back to Isomount. Evan Larson now finds Cousins. Looks over to Kolkov. In the middle, Hedman stopped. He gets pushed out as Jeanette has it. Tries to look over and scores! Ice it bound. That's a one time goal. Put up the lead by one. That shot gonna get that one comfy. You know that Ice Man was already ready and set. And he has that one right away across from the goaltender. He just didn't realize he was gonna get up there, but it went right toward from the mask. He just got that one pretty lucky out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying now. Because of Ice Mound, he just made that one feel like he wants it. Try to rip the rocket out, and he finally had that goal. Mm-hmm. You have to just get out of your way. Two with the goal. Stopped again by Bobrovsky. Panthers regaining through. Zergachev with the puck, and now Tampa Bay's back in the offense. Now find Jeanette. Jeanette over it again. Right across from him. Bobrovsky stop. Kucherov get back to Jeanette. Lost that one as Lomberg get back to Stenlin. Flings it up in the air. Unable to reach as Sergeyev recovers it. Pass on his own energy to point to Kucherov. Stumbled it down. Pull it back to Lomberg. Now, he will give it over right again to Lawrence. Ekman Larson right over to the right side. Try to get away from the puck. And back inside is Hegel. Shot went wide. Rebound stopped by Bobrovsky. Oh man, that point was going to be another good goal, but it's denied by the goaltender. Maybe that is not the choice option you really want that. Because if you're really thinking that you want to try to stop one, don't explain it. Reinhardt with the puck with 12 3 to go. Inbound! That goes down as Kucherov would to make that good stop and his Sergeyev get back to Kucherov. Reinhardt with the puck. Back in the corner, Kucherov takes it over. Sernax recovers it. Spins it over. Finding now open room for point. Point shot! Hit off the side of the goal post and it goes back the other way to the boats to Pamper territory. Hedman, right over it again, now finding an open look. Kicking the puck back in his arm. Here's her Higgy shot. Oh, Johansson got that piece of it. And it goes to Glenberg back to Mote. Here's Watson. Right over it again onto the left. The backhand short. Stop it away by the goaltender. Bergeggi trying to recover the puck. That goes out of zone and Furbix takes it back again to Glendingy. Glendingy right over into the left. Porcelain recovers the puck as Bennett takes it away. Near the right wing. Stopped away as Mote has it. Slings it over again. Now Victor Redman right into the left. Tries to go again. Glendingy shot! And he scores! That's his fourth goal of his career! Extended line bank option for further for three one. Yeah, I never saw that Glady was gonna get this one right straight away. 
Because you give that pass right over across again, from point, and then you give it off to Glennining on the next one. This was not really what everyone is expecting. They're trying to get away with that. They don't want to get over through. Glennining has their team up over the two point lead with just only the pass in the midway mark of the period. Rodri Goose right over again, passing now to Mikola. Sure, it went wide. Puck leaves his own in a TB territory. Montour with the puck, battling for the loose puck. Now back again, Montour to Rodriguez. Thychuk with the puck. On the right side, looking again. Vanka caught him up and it went wide. High Edmund has it. Pass diagonally to Barrett Bullock. Leaving the puck out of his own, but it stayed back in. And Paul. Kicks it over, recovers the headman. Over and out of ball. Shot! Stopped away! Bobrovsky's going to cover it up with just only 8.17 to go in the second period. These two are really the dynamic on this one. It's a 3 1 lead for Tampa Bay. They're back to make the win. Furman shot! Good stop by Bobrovsky! And going back and all over the place to make another run. Lundo with the puck. Mikola, right finding Lesternan. Lesternan goes slight sound. And now Hedman gives it back over again to Fear Perbix. Pass to Sorelli. Sorelli in the middle of the mound. Bobrovsky got it up this time with 7.10 to go. Making a good move out there. He's not done yet. He's still got a long way to go. But that's a lot of them. It makes the encouragement a lot more harder than you need. So Raleigh wins it. Point going back over again. And it's back in the corner. Stenlin has it now. And right back into the out of the goaltender to Lorenz. Tries to cover it bound. That circuit chap puts a cut and bound failure. Here comes circuit chap Sorelli shot! Stopped by Bobrovsky! He's still going! I can't believe it, he's not giving it up this time to get away with it. And Stenlin on his way down! Lorenz shot! Steve Nye by the goaltender. Cernax has it now with 5.45 remaining. In the middle, he finds Isomound. Tries to go over again. Good, good, big hit here, and he got that one to wipe it out. Isomound, pass, broken up. Rebound again. Good stop by Eichblatt, and Robin Goose is on his way down. You know the tough defenseman is not going to get in the way. They really got to get showing up this play. They're really trying to, like, push him back. This inbound is not taking it from here. No matter how hard you do, you just got to try to keep on focusing it. No matter if this is hard or not, you just got to swing it right into it and then try to stop him bound. No way you can't just like make him out of here and make a move. Robert Goose trying to go to Fletch it in, but it's stopped again by the goaltender. Four minutes gone by in the second period. And Point fighting again. Stopped by Eggblad. Pass to Robert Goose. Deep across the force lane. To go with the open angle. Stop again by Reddy. It's just blocked and goes right toward the wall. Now finds Hagel. Hagel right towards the left wing. Pulls it down. Good stop by Barakov. Barakov right over into the left. To the right wing. No rebound covered here as Bolts take 30 total hits in combine. Kucherov right over into the right. Look the pass. Stopped away and it goes with a bat out. Stamkos recovers it. Find a pass to Hedman. Look over to Kucherov. Reinhardt give it back to Berdighi. Over. Oh, Heike went slam down first. And then they give it up. And Paul has it now into the right wing. A wild deserved run. A little cross out in the second period. But the Panthers need to get back into this. Stop by Johansson. Refining Montour. Redirect! That's went out of here and it's stopped again by the goaltender. 
Samkowski back to Paul. Flings it up. Now into the Panthers territory finds Bigola. Last minute remaining in the second period as the time is winding down. They need to do something else here. I don't know what to tell you now because they're really trying to get away with that. Oh, there is a major boarding call, and that will be on Mikola in the penalty box. Oh boy, I do not like when Mikola does that one roughing up. Do you know when you take that tumble down? You really do not like this one at all when you try to make a shove out of it. Panthers have their first penalty kill, and the power play is on for Tampa Bay Bolts with 44 seconds. You know, the cause of this one here, what they're doing is there's a, a tumble take down on the boarding. They're going to call that one a good call. The referee has a good eyesight to find out what happens, though, if you don't get a goal. This is not what everyone does. They really are trying to get out of it. But you can't let it happen by trying to let them fool you. That's where the way it goes. Stop by Robofsky. Last in with the puck. Try to get to Ekblad. Look to Starling and will clear the puck out. And that stops as the bus beater went on. 3 to 1 as the Bolts have it crushed now. But the Panthers need to think about getting it back. Will they get a tie run or will they be stumbled out? We'll find out later right after this break. Don't go anywhere. NHL will be right back with you after this. We've come down to the end of the second, but now it's the third period. The Florida Showdown is the place to be. Hope you're having fun. And we've got one more period left to go with me, Silver Spoon, and Ultra Beast on EA Sports. The start of the run for Kucherov puts it up in, and Emma the Lark's in. Kucherov trying to put it back, and it went double down, taken over by Forsley. Ryan Hart with the puck as the power play continues for the Bolts. Stamkos will have to reset it again as Kucherov takes it back. Now find point. On the inbound! Rebound! Stop again by Barowski! He's really good, trying to like keep it out. Without Solaris, this is no way to get found out there. The big moment. After a save comes up again, the power play is almost done. And it's stopped again. Now it's back to even strength for the Panthers as no power play goal comes in to shut them down. They're doing really well out there. I've been really seeing that they was like, hey, you've got to make that one connection work. I just really can't tell you that they were really that impressed. Even if I definitely want to look at it again, that's because of what they wanted to do. They really showed it off. Blocked it out! Stopped by Johansson. Kucherov with the puck. Blocked it away! Paul recovers it and now find Hedman. 17.30 left to go in the third period. Still 3-1 game. Find the pass to point. Rebound! Stopped again by Borowski. By Chuck on the outside of the range. Now finding over. Sorelli has it back. Ekblad takes it over as Rodriguez gives to Bennett. Bennett on the release. Fires it and Johansson denies the shot. On for another face-off. The Panthers and the Bolts are getting a little bit of crush annoyed by the COVID pandemic here for 2021 in the, in the Central Division. Now back again. Here's a slump shot and a stop made. Cuts up by Johansson. Hedman puts it over again by Isomount. Isomount right over to the right. Finds a rally. Gloved by Bobrovsky. He's up for the whistle here, ready for the face-off with only 16, 15 to go. Now another change-up coming in. Pampers still trailing by two. A 3-1 is the score. Now the win puts up again for the Bolts. Finds now. Open look. Blocked away. And it goes with a deep fire rejection. Fightchuk looking to get another one. Rebound stopped again by Johansson. Mikula shot! Too deep and a stop again! Mikula and the full pressure's on for the Panthers. Shot stop away by Johansson! Sorelli putting it back to Shinnette. 
will finally unreveal it, and oh man, he's going to be getting it beaten, but Jeanette still recovers by Ice Mountains. You never want to get there at that point, because uh, you know what I said? Because they were really that impressed. I don't know what to tell you now, but this is a lot harder than they make the range out of it. Kaichuk gives the puck back again to Mikula. Tumbles down. Kaichuk lost that one as Hedman gives back to Mote. Rolls back to Furbitz. Now find Watson. Stop, and it's Montour with the puck. Spins around, finds Lundell. Looks it over. How to stop made again by Joe Hansen. Ready for the puck loose on the chain, and Furbex recovers it. 13-40 left to remain in the third period as Watson takes it over. Locks it down. Montour finds Cousins. He goes down as Montague recovers it. There's a lot of big collisions out there. They're trying to get away with that. You know the slam does turn out on ice? They want revenge. Lundell with the puck. Skates it right on the side. Nobody open to go, and it's Kucherov. Oh, Kucherov got beaten. That's big back to Verhege. Point now has it back with only 12.23 left. Open with the look. Dabrowski saves another one. Kucherov back to Hegel. Shot stopped away. Reiner with the puck. Forsling tries to keep it up. Hegel with a move. Fine port. Rebound. Stopped away by Dabrowski. Oh, that would be a great play if the Bolts would have that one cut inbound. That would be a tough one to get it out. That's really even tough indeed. And you just have to say that Braden Point was really going to try to like keep the cover. When you make a cut right inbounding, you just got to go with that quick. That really needs to get away with this one. Not hard. Shot went wide. Stamkos recovers the puck. Full pressure for the Bolts. Force lane finds again to Reinhardt. Now Lorenz with the puck. The Panthers are trying to make another new group on offense to go over transition. Now he finds Lenzar. Ooh, he went down pretty hard. Back to Kolokov. Looking over again, Kolokov fires it out. Sergeyev with the puck. Racing Town towards the other side is Cernax. He finds Paul. And a puck. They release that as Kolokov recovers it. Tries to look it over again. Now he finds Kachaicha. Two on two opportunity. Stop by Joe Hansen. He's been denying that run and now finds Montour. Puck almost went out of the net. Shot went too wide, and it's right back to Sergeyev. 8.35 left to remain in the third. Fires, and Bobrovsky saves. Ekman Larson now finds Montour to Bennett. Bennett right over again with 8.15 left to remain. Penalty release! No penalty, it's been signaled for a penalty shot. He scores! So Bennett, they're back down by one. A terrific motion by Kaicha. You know this pass really does turn out, you can't just get away with this. That's when you know that that uh, Kleinchuk has been really going over this to make the quick release. This is not that easy when he gets out one again, and you know that Ryan is really getting away with this one. A lot of hard, as Sam Bennett had a lot of that enforcement. You know this is a counter, but, and I just say that Sam Bennett, Bennett has two goals. We're waiting to see if he gets three at this time and tie up the game. Because nobody else really got new. Nobody got that one right away. He scores! Steven Stamkos! That's 516 of the goal! The captain crushes it! Oh boy, I never saw what Stamkos done. Had to ring off the pole? He just went in. Took that rebound, a clean look. Not a clean hit but took it away from him. I just had to tell you now, because Steven Stamkos, he's like full pressure. The 
the range is in sight and not a really so hard way to try to stay out. This motion is really are turning things away. But you just you do not want to make this one feel like you're in an uncomfortable zone. You just gotta try to like keep an eye at this point. That's a hard one if you're trying to get over with. Cousin get back to Ekman Larson and Lundo with the puck. Tries to give out to Lusterdain. Lost that one as Cernax has it. Puck leaves his own as Montero clears it out. Pass broken up. Paul on his way down by Kucherov. Look again. Cousins lost that one to need Lundell. Tries to push back again to Cousins. Short went wide. Hagel gets bumped out. Lundell trying to get it over again. Kerbricks with the puck and now finds Point with six minutes gone by. Point and Montour takes it over. Back again to Brigitte. Looks down again to Barkov. All oh, alone, man! Stop by Johansson. Ooh, push back and bound. Not this time, Johansson said. Heaven tries it over. 513 left to remain third. They still need to get over this. Locked it up by Bobrovsky. He will have to hold it up for the whistle with only 5 or 3 remaining. We carry on in between. We definitely do have in between a range of those two. Who do you think will have that win in there at that point? Uh, I must say the Bolts are really our the top range of all team. But I'm not really impossible to my ultimate in defection. But this is not what everyone really does turn out. I just do not believe that they are just rolling in between in and out. They're trying to get away with that one easily. Not a good choice what they're getting it off to that point. But I don't have appreciation to this. They're trying to get away with that. Barry Bullet with the puck. Finding over again to beat it. And the goaltender stops. Oh, Bobrovsky put it up another big stop save. Ekblad with the puck. Now give back to Reinhard. Reinhard right over into the light. Looking to get rather good shot. Crossing bound got stopped. Reinhardt to Roderick's shot. Finally does it, but has a save with the puck. Kucherov on his way down with three minutes to go. Face it over, four swing, goes down. Kucherov, stop away, he gets slammed down. Four swing with the puck. Trying to need to make an answer right away as Montour gives it back to Roderick's. He's on the left wing. Can't control the puck. Kucherov get back to Hegel. Lightning regained their run. Pulls it back. Inbound. Everton Larson get back to Fychuk. Under two minutes to go. Fychuk releases. The tricky shot's been denied. Sergeyev beat the puck over again to Sorelli. He goes down. Eastbound with the puck right into the left. To right. Locked away. Sorelli short. Locked it up again. They'll make a stop by Borowski. Time is ticking down. Hits the glass. Just one minute remaining in the third. And they are calling for an extra man for Florida Panthers as the goaltender will be on the bench. Not always a very personal in the imagination. I just don't know what this hell you do. Just trying to get away with this. But they need to get out of here as soon as they can. Who has that pick? Let's go with Walter Beast or Sandy Bob. You know, I have a great feeling of this one because I just really felt like that Kucherov and Sergeyev are really off to a great pressure. This is a lot harder and they are trying to like stay out of it. This is a lot of killer zone, guys. To make that one feel uncomfortable, they make them feel good, and that's what happens. Bring up the pipe! Hankel recovers and now finds Kucherov. And now Sergeyev. Close to gap as Tychuk with the puck. Time is winding down. Reinhard lost that one. At point, Kucherov saved it, and it's game over. Kucherov shuts down Florida's Sunrise State to end the run on the Panthers. That's it. Game over. That's when you know what the buzz beer does. You gave a win off. And that pointer was it.
accoutrement me, the great win, to have that set. And I know I was going to make that one because Kucherov really times it all. And that's going to do for Sunrise, Florida. The Pampers got stumped out as the win puts up by Johansson. He finally take the win in the rival week matchups. Well, in each season really turned out great. With that, Lanzalewski, I'm thinking that Johansson will give him the world to zero out of applause. Wild phase, well win. With me, Silver Spoon, and Ultra Beast, this has been a presentation of the rival week of the NHL. Thanks for joining with us, and see you all again for the next one. Good night, everybody. All right, thank you so much. As right now, three star players are on. The first star, as we give up a good start, is the Sam Bennett, with two goals and three hits. Well, he got two this time, but not enough to make the hat trick. The second goal stalled the game. Victor Hedman with three assists and 12 hits. He took a big hit and a clean hit. And your number one star, this all goes to Jonas Johansson, with 38 saves and turned out the biggest run of the night, and he has done the best. Here are the total combinations in between the statistic runs. 51 over 40 for Tampa Bay. 49 over 47 on the hits. 616 over 532. 91% on a good time run in between the two. Face-off wins puts up for 8 time for Florida Pampers. And 2 minute penalty kill was caused with the boarding. And no power play has been made. So that ends up here as we will get right to the next week will be the Canadian team matchups. Yes, that's right. I hope you're ready for the Canadian matchups, because you know I am. Thanks for joining with us, and I'll see you all again next time for another NHL rival week of the season. This is Wood Spoonie. You can follow Son of Beast on his social media, on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Links to the about page. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to his channel. If you don't, somebody will do it. Peace out folks for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports style. Good night in Sunrise. Oh, you know, that's paradise. Almost. Actually, exactly. Florida. See ya. Until then. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.